What's going on everybody? This is RF Mike and today we are going to take a quick look at Google Maps on your Android Wear and Google Music. So first off, we will go into Maps. You can either slide out, if, and this is for people that are running 5.1.1. You can either slide out or just tap. You can see I pulled up Maps recently. We'll open it up. It takes a second for it to load up. And you can see the compass is on my wrist you can see that Google Maps is moving with the wrist using the positioning from GPS on the on the phone this is Bluetooth to the phone still um, you can still pull up your map on uh, on the watch without GPS without the uh, your Android Wear phone or your Android phone um, tethered to the watch but it will only give you an area of where you're in what it recognized last it will not show you actual um, movement on the map also you can see you can zoom in you can zoom out Point for things that are around us. So, like it shows, I'm actually at my work. So, it shows my school, Discovery Park, things that are nearby. Go back. And then we can, if you want to exit, you just hit your X at the bottom. Alright, that's how we exit that. Now, for on to music being that we are connected to my phone we will find play music select it play on the phone play on where so since we are connected to the phone we'll do play on phone and it opens the phone Actually, I'll play something for a second that I played earlier, which was Neon Future here by Steve Aoki. I'm going to turn this down because I definitely don't want to get any copyright lawsuits pressed against me for showing off his music. So I'm going to try to keep this at a low volume. Alright, so that's music playing on there. We go to the watch, you can see it shows what you have playing. Shows what you have playing on the watch. We pull up and look at it. Well actually that is a pop poctoliptica. Let's see if it'll switch. Let's try this again. artwork. We'll start the track over. Once it starts playing here, I get some reception. It shows it's playing on there. Let's see if this will pop up on the watch. Let's try this one more time. 
As you can see, I'm having a technical difficulty with getting this to work. There we go. So just prove again. Music is playing. I'll go back to the watch. It shows the album art, what track we're listening to, or pause. Go over a screen. We can turn the volume up or down, go forward or back a track, thumbs up the album, thumbs down the track, thumbs up the track or down it. And then over here is browse. This is something that's new. So you hit browse. You can actually look at your listen now, what was recent on your playlist, or there's radio. So say we don't want to listen to this anymore, we can hit listen now. And this is connected to the phone, so it will pull up and show the album we're listening to now. We can switch to a shadow maker. We can do anything that's archived, Murder Gnomes by Perfect Circle, anything else that I've recently listened to will show up. So let's say we want to switch to Shadowmaker. We will go ahead and switch. And as you can see on the phone, it automatically switched us over. And it's playing that. Pause that there. And now we will go on ahead. As you can see, we paused it on the phone, so it stopped it on the watch. Bring it back up. Same thing, your controls again. And as you can see, whenever you have different background album art, depending on the colors of the album art, it will change the colors on your controls. Alright, so that's that. So let's say we go on ahead and exit music altogether. Say so we're done using the phone, pairing it to the phone. You want to listen to your music off the watch alone. So we'll close this out. We will put the phone on airplane mode so that way we're no longer connected via Bluetooth. Alright, so I'm on airplane mode. As you can see. So my watch picks up, recognizes, hey, no more Bluetooth connection. Same thing, say we want to listen to music again. Play music. And it pulls up this time now, there's no Bluetooth connection. It pulls up the music that is stored on the watch that you have downloaded uh, to the Android Wear device via Google Music. And when you download, you're basically through your Google Music on your phone, you are check marking what you want to save to the phone, and that will automatically send it over to the Android Wear. Um, you can store up to four gigs of music. So, as you can see, we have one album there. Another album, another album, and then Neon Future I had downloaded. You can shuffle the tracks on that. You can go by just the actual track if you want to find just the actual track you want to listen to. So you can see the controls and all your options have changed now that we are offline. And then if we want to shuffle all tracks. So yeah, quite a few options on your Android Wear. And to listen to your music offline, you need to have a Bluetooth earbuds or headphones or Bluetooth speaker. This way you can use your music for offline use. Um, I know people try pairing their Android Wear device to their cars for Bluetooth audio and I've seen that it has not worked. I have not tried it myself so primarily just stick with using your headphones. This is Bluetooth headphones. This is definitely for if you're wanting to do go out and do a jog or you know use just your watch and not have to have your phone with you for music. Alright guys, that is, our, that is it for today. This is a quick little video. Thank you for checking out. Remember, thumbs up the video. Like and subscribe if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments down below. Uh, this is RF Mike, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.